there today we're going to be talking about a different way to house your guinea pig now when I adopted my guinea pigs over a year ago I thought I could keep them in a small cage and let them out for half an hour a day and I thought that they would be happy and that would be the right amount of exercise for them now I noticed that when I, they would be in the cage all they would do was just lay there do nothing stare at me or chew on the bars obsessively so I started to realize there was something wrong and then I got a third guinea pig and I realized that I definitely needed to upgrade their housing. So I looked up online and there were a lot of different cages that people built. Some of them were really awesome. So I really thought about it, but I didn't really have room to set up a separate cage. So I decided to work with what I already had. Now I have a, you know, not a really big closet, but it does have some room and I decided that I will let them have the entire floor of my closet to run around in and live in. Now as you can see they have plenty of room. I still have a lot of room so I can walk in my closet and get my clothes and go into my drawers. Now I am gone a lot during the day because I do go to college so knowing that they have all this room where they can play and run around is really good so other than the exercise in my room where they get to run around they get to play here which means that they also stay in Now the cleaning is not too bad. I changed the materials every day as well as changing the newspapers every day the rug that's underneath is machine washable and I use it mainly to keep the newspapers from sliding around I wash that once a month and also to protect the floor that's underneath I have plexiglass now guinea pigs do poop a lot so you have to clean their habitat a lot because if you don't your room's gonna smell now to help me clean I have a hand vacuum cleaner that I use the red one right there and I also try to stay organized. As you can see, I have the boxes of hay, and after, underneath I have the box of aspen. So it's very easy for me to quickly clean up, and it only takes, I guess, the most, I would say, 15 minutes to finish everything. I try to keep things simple, and that's what makes cleaning time really quick. As you can see, there's not a lot of things in here, just what they need. Their hay is actually in a cat litter box that I fill with aspen shavings for easy cleaning. It's not too tall, so as you can see, they can get in and out very easily. I also made a little hay rack for their hay, so that way their hay stays clean. They don't pee on it, they just nicely eat it from there. And I built this little house for them uh, with my dad out of wood, and they sleep underneath. Sometimes I keep a little container with some more aspen, because they do like to sleep in aspen, or sometimes I'll put a towel in there, a small one, and they like to sleep on that. I do like variety though, so sometimes I'll take everything out and I'll just put a towel in there and put something to cover it so they can hide. Or sometimes I'll keep it open with just a towel so they can all take a nap together. Now to keep them from escaping, I use plexiglass. It's really nice because from far away, it, you can't really see it very well. And luckily my guinea pigs know it's there, so they've never bumped into it, which is good. Now the second level is used to keep their water bottles and also their food. I have two water bottles to keep them from fighting and also their food is up there and I also have a little barrier so the food doesn't fall out Mousy, the one on the bottom is the one that likes to knock over the bowl as you can see they have no problem going up and down and I like this in comparison to a ramp because it takes up a lot less room and it does a job now I also try to make use of all the room I have so I also keep the food right there So that's also the pellet container I like variety, so from time to time I'll switch things around like hang a towel from my drawers, which will be a great tunnel for them for fun. And they also like to take naps in there. I have wood in there for them to chew on, as well as Tigger, which they will knock around, sleep with him, cuddle, and sometimes even crawl all over him. So that's it for the video. Thank you for watching. If you like it, please rate 5 stars and subscribe to this channel. I will be posting a lot of other videos such as my cousin's a guinea pig closet cage, which she got the idea from me and she also applied it to her closet. If you would like, you can also make a video response with your animal habitat or you can email me at creativepetkeeping at gmail.com because I want to make other videos showing other people's ideas and sharing cool creative ways to keep pets happy.